to the hundreds and thousands watching online. We've heard tonight already in just half of the program outrageous, horrible things. We're getting a tiny bit of humor and some hope and a lot of analysis that is very important. And I, I just need to let you know, as much as World Can't Wait has a long and uh, fond experience with Cooper Union in doing events like this, they're not actually free. And sometimes when something has to happen, um, you might wish you had a pot of money sitting somewhere to draw upon, but speaking for World Can't Wait, we never have that pot of money. And so we do what most of the world does, we put it on a credit card. <laughs> We're going to be passing baskets around tonight. You can go to worldcantwait.net in the modern way and donate in all sorts of ways and even get a tax deduction. You can also take the 20s in your pocket that are burdening you at the moment <laughs> and put them in the basket. We have another one of these moments coming up. You can't imagine how many people wanted to be on this program, and we had to make some hard choices. Layla Al-Haddad is known as the Gaza Mom. She's a journalist, and because her husband, who was trained in the U.S., is also a Palestinian, but one without the Israeli-administered right to reside in or even enter Gaza, She's living here with him, and she's not able to be at home in Gaza with her dear family. Last week she spoke, uh, thanks to the U.S. campaign to end the Israeli occupation, to U.S. Congress people and mostly to their staffs about what was happening with Protective Edge. And, uh, she wasn't able to get up here tonight, but we are going to show you just a little bit of her testimony. And again, these are things that are hard to listen to, but so important to share. So share it out there on the internet. This is going to be available as films, short clips, and the archive will be up immediately. Layla El-Haddad. 